In this video, I'm going to show you what is Secure Folder and how you can use it. So if you haven't heard about it, Secure Folder is an extremely powerful security feature which you'll find on every Samsung phone that's backed by Nox Security. So here's how it works. It's basically a folder in which you can store photos, videos, files and apps and this is all locked with some password. So it can be your fingerprint or a pattern or a pin. So there are some cool things about this folder. All of the data inside this folder, you won't find it in your phone. So for example, you can have two versions of Instagram, each with different accounts. So let's say one is your business account, which you want to keep private. Then you can keep it in the secure folder and only keep that one account. And your personal account, if you don't want to put it in the folder, then you can just have it as a normal app with a different account logged in. So basically, you can have two versions of an app. So now I'll show you how to use it. To create a secure folder, the first thing you have to do is go to settings on your phone. Then once you're in settings, you'll have to go to security and privacy. So scroll down and you'll find this option over here. Then scroll down and over here, you'll find an option called secure folder. So click on it. Then click on continue. So if you haven't already, then you'll have to sign in with your Samsung account. And now it's creating the folder. This may take some time and you'll just have to wait. After this, you'll have to select a lock method that you want. So they have different options like a pattern, pin or password. So select whichever one you want. And now as you can see, the secure folder is created. And over here, they've already added some apps like calendar, camera, etc. But now I'll show you how to add files and apps to the secure folder. So to add files like photos, videos or documents, you have to click on the three dots which are over here. After that, click on add files. After that, you can select where you want to add them from, whether it's an image, video, audio, document, you have all these options. So based on what you want to add, just select the option. For now, I'll add a photo. So I'll click on images. Then based on which photos you want to add, just select them and then click on done. After this, they'll ask you if you want to move it or copy it. So just select what you want to do. For now, I'll click on copy and now it's copied. So if I go to my gallery, as you can see, the image which I just moved has come here. So the same way you can add videos, documents, etc. Now, I'll show you how to add apps. So to do this, click on the plus button, which is over here. Then over here, you have two options. You can either add an app that's already on your phone. So if you scroll down, you'll find all the apps which you have. Or if you want to add a new app, then you can download it from the Play Store or the Galaxy Store. So like I mentioned earlier, each app in your secure folder will be different from the apps which are normally on your phone. So I'll show you how it works. For now, I'll add Gmail. So I'll just select it and click on add. And now it's added. And outside of my secure folder, I had logged in to all my accounts. But now if I open Gmail, as you can see, all of my accounts have gone. And this is basically like a new app. So the same way, you can have two versions of different apps. So this is how to add apps to your secure folder. Now I'll quickly show you some important settings. So to go to settings, click on the three dots again over here and click on settings. So in settings, the first few are related to the lock type. So if you want to change your lock type or not make your pattern visible, then all of the settings are related to that. After that, an important setting is notifications. So just click on it. And here you can decide if you want the notifications from your secure folder to show normally on your phone outside of your secure folder. So if you want to allow that, then you'll have to enable it over here. Now I've gone back to settings. Then another setting is if you want to show secure folder in your app drawer. 
So currently, in my app drawer, I'll be able to find secure folder. But if I disable this option over here, then as you can see, they've said that secure folder won't appear on my home or app screen when it's hidden. And the last setting is uninstalling secure folder. So if you want to do this, just click on more settings that's over here and then click on uninstall and then just click on uninstall to delete secure folder. So this is basically how to use secure folder and if you want to know how to transfer files from your phone to your laptop then check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.